Hey guys, here with a video of stuff I picked up recently. This is within the past week or so. And I'm going to try to make this a weekly segment as long as I'm getting stuff in. Um, you know, enough to show you guys. Uh, and I got quite a bit of stuff here because I went to the National and this is the stuff that came in when I was gone. So I got a lot of 1987 tops autographs. There's probably 75 here or so. I'll just flip through real quick. And there's some pretty decent names in here. So these are like a dollar a piece, probably. Um, I'll just flip through them here. Bob Walkie's tough. Dennis Paul's tough. Mickey Hatcher's tough. BJ Surhoff. Just the names that I mentioned are more difficult. Candy Audi. Ed Lynch. So probably half of these guys signed through the mail. Jamie Moyer, rookie. So Dwight Lowry, he's been deceased for a number of years. So some pretty decent players in here. Richie Ott, he's hard. Levier, Thigpen, Mike Morgan, Rob Deere, Bochi, Swindell, Ken Howell's deceased, Buddy Bell, Quinones. Sebra, he's deceased recently. And Lear Herndon and Devon White. So some pretty decent names in there. So we got an 88 tops, same deal, same dealer. Probably 75 cards or so. Uh, that's a pretty cool card there, Al Leiter, rookie. So a couple Ken Howells who's passed away. Bruce Ruffin. Braggs is tough. Noakes. Cerruti's deceased. Musselman's tough. Chuck Jackson's. This is probably the best card in both lots, Tim Cruz and the Dwight Lauer, 87. So both guys are deceased. Bob Walk is difficult. Harold Reynolds. Lombardozzi just died recently. Um, so overall, pretty good lot here. Some tough names. Albert Hall. Jeff Robinson's deceased. Eldretti's tough. Franco. So that's that. Like I said, I probably paid a dollar a piece on average on those. This was a group of like 90s basketball, like autographics. Some decent players in here. Monty Williams, Elliot Perry, Tony Mossenberg, Vitaly Potapenko, and a few others. Just kind of neat cards. But these were like Bryce Drew. These were, I think, 25 for... I probably got a buck a piece on these. 25 for 25. Um, got some vintage tops here. And these came in a lot. These are probably around three or four a piece. So Jim Bunning. Some pretty good names in here. A couple Philippe Lou's. Wes Parker. Jose LaBoy, Paranoski, two of those. Boog Powell, Paskey, Bob Veals, really tough. Jim Maloney, Sam McDowell, Blasting Game, Mel Stottlemyre. So overall, this is a pretty nice lot here. Jose Cardinal. Second year, Topps Gold Cup. And a few more random ones. These came in a lot. Probably $2 a piece. And these are some traded, Topps traded, 84 Topps. Art Hall, Sid Bream, Rick Leach, Dan Meyer, Pat Putnam, Candy Maldonado. So a few difficult names in there. Um... 
got these. I think I paid around 40 for both of these. So a 72 tops Harmon Killebrew. And it's a pretty nice card. It's Denny McLean, 1968 most valuable player card. And it has his business card on the back of there. If you guys ever pick up, see these signed, pick them up, business cards in general. They're pretty sought after and pretty hard to find. So if I ever run into him at a show, he does a lot of shows. He was just in Iowa, but I couldn't go to it. I might ask him if he has any signed business cards. I might have to pay him. Probably going to have to, but probably worth it. Um, Wally Moses. I think I paid $3 for that. And one tip I'll give you guys. I think this was a, from the same dealer that I got these basketball cards. And he shipped both together with no additional charge. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bought this because I think the shipping was like $5 or something. But for three, that's a pretty good price. And um, something that I'm going to talk about in a future video is sending stuff in to check out my cards. So that's one way I kind of sell stuff and pick up stuff, new stuff. The problem right now with them is that their shipping is like, six months behind so i ordered like 700 cards probably three months ago and i'm still probably at least three months away from getting them so unfortunately they haven't managed their shipping very well um you know that's an issue i have with them but as well as everybody else but um i got a tom brady lot here i think these were around there's like 25 cards, and I probably paid around a dollar a piece for them. I have no idea what these are worth, but some are kind of cool looking, like prism cards or whatever. I'm not big on the new stuff, but, you know, this is the kind of stuff I would sell at a show. So what I'll do is, since these are all Tom Brady's, I'll look at check out my cards, and I'll see. So if I have a dollar a piece on these, you know, I don't know what any of these go for, but I'll check out. I'll look at check out my cards. You know, if there's stuff that's going for $5 or more, I'll probably just send it in to them. It's hard, like, once you get a bunch of stuff, it's hard to manage everything. You know, and I do this all by myself. You know, I sell on eBay, I sell at shows, and I sell, I do check out my cards. So that's three things that I'm trying to manage by myself. And if you're... If you're trying to sell all these on just eBay, trying to list all the stuff on eBay, it's going to be really tough for you to do that by yourself. It's just really time consuming. I don't think most people realize how time consuming it is. So you got to, if you want to, you got to use all the platforms available to you. Not that I do, but those are the three I use. You could also use like maybe Mercari or things like that. Facebook garage sales or whatever. I think you could do well on that kind of stuff. But anyways, I'll talk more about how to sell stuff in a in another video. Um, I'll just kind of go through my thought process on selling on eBay and selling at shows and selling on check out my cards. Um, so this is a 85 Donruss. Roger Clemens rookie PSA eight, pretty nice card, but I think I paid around twelve for this. And that's this is something I would probably send in to check out my cards because PSA graded stuff does pretty well. And what I'll do in a future video is I'll I'll show my exact thinking process when I'm working on deciding what to sell where. So stay tuned for future videos. Um, I'm gonna try to get in as in depth as I can. And explaining all this stuff not only just you know selling but also showing my personal collection and just a wide variety of things so keep keep watching and and uh please subscribe tell anyone you know that might be interested in this kind of stuff about my channel 
All right. Thanks, guys.